हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय जूलॉजी क्लास दिस इज अकमल हुसैन लेक्चरर बायोलॉजी स्क्वायर हाई स्कूल एंड कॉलेज नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक ए जूलॉजी क्लास ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सेवन चैप्टर फाइव देयर इज ए पिक्चर ऑफ a system of our body which is related with uh, digestion of food today's topic is digestive system what will we learn from this class we will be able to know about parts of digestive digestive canal functions of different parts of digestive canal digestive system what is digestive system you know digestion is the breakdown of large insoluble food molecules into small water soluble food molecules so that they can be absorbed by our body the organs which take part in digestion is called digestive system digestive system of human body mainly divided into two number 1 alimentary canal or digestive canal number 2 digestive glands parts of digestive canal there is a figure of digestive system of human body number 1 mouth number 2 buccal cavity number 3 pharynx number 4 is esophagus number 5 is stomach number 6 is small intestine number 7 large intestine and finally anus dear students you have to practice the drawing of digestive system of human it will be tough for you but you have to practice more then it will be easy mouth on the upper side of mouth is lip and the lower side is the lower lip through opening and closing of these lips we control taking of foods function food enter into the buccal cavity through this opening number 2 buccal cavity the second portion of our digestive system is buccal cavity the buccal cavity is surrounded by two jaws and teeth above this there is palate and beneath there is muscular tongue upper palate lower tongue moreover there are three pairs of salivary glands both side of the oral cavity number of permanent teeth is 32 having 16 in each jaw teeth are of four types such as incisor these are incisor that cut food particles into small pieces then canine this is canine this is also canine which helps to cut and tear hard parts like meat premolar teeth these are premolar teeth these are premolar teeth which helps to sieve and green food materials and finally molar teeth these are molar teeth these are molar teeth which help to sieving and grinding of food substance besides 
after growing other teeth name wisdom teeth actually wisdom teeth is in molar teeth function teeth cut food materials and help to grinding tongue feels the taste of food and repeatedly send food under teeth for sieving saliva from salivary glands make food slimy and help to swallow pharynx the next part of buccal cavity of our digestive system is pharynx follow the picture between oral cavity and esophagus a short portion of our digestive canal is called pharynx function food materials pass through it from buccal cavity to esophagus esophagus the next portion of pharynx is esophagus follow the picture long tube like structure between pharynx and stomach is esophagus function food materials pass through it from pharynx to stomach stomach this is the picture of stomach stomach is a sac like organ which is located between esophagus and small intestine that means this is the stomach due to peristaltic movement of pharynx and esophagus slimy foods are stored here what is peristaltic movement peristaltic movement is the movement of digestive canal through which the food particles moves from upper part to lower part of our digestive system i am saying again peristaltic movement is the movement through which peristaltic movement is the movement of digestive canal through which food particles moves from upper part to lower part of our digestive canal stomach stomach is a bag like structure its wall is thick and muscular first and last part of stomach contain muscular rims that means here carries one ring and here carries another ring total two rims are present there on the stomach wall large number of gastric glands are found this food temporary stays here functions the food temporarily stays here digestive juice from gastric glands help in digestion small intestine it is the next part of digestive canal small intestine is again divided into three parts number 1 duodenum follow the picture small intestine is the largest spiral or convoluted tube like structured between stomach and large intestine at first duodenum the first portion of small intestine is duodenum functions of duodenum helps to digest protein carbohydrate and lipid number 2 jejunum that means middle layer middle portion of small intestine is jejunum functions help to absorb digest digest food partially ileum last portion of small intestine 
last portion of small intestine is ileum inner wall of ileum there is a absorption zone there are finger like projections in the wall or wall to perform the functions of absorption through different processes these are called villi functions help to absorb the digested food large intestine the next portion of our digestive system after the small intestine is large intestine large intestine starts just after the small intestine it extends from ileum to anus it is the joining portion of small intestine and large intestine there is a valve it is smaller than small intestine in length but its diameter is greater than the inner diameter of small intestine that's why it is called large intestine large intestine divided into again three parts number 1 cecum please follow the picture this part of large intestine is called cecum colon the medial portion between cecum and rectum that means most of the part of large intestine is colon rectum next part of colon that means from here to before the anus this part is called rectum function function of large intestine absorption of water vitamins and minerals rectum stores stool temporarily anus the last portion of our digestive canal is anus anus is the last part of digestive system this is anus the digestive canal opens outside through this part functions undigested part of food is removed from the body as stool through anus maintain social distance follow health rules thank you